Hey guys, Abraham here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a trifold brochure using our plugin and get everything to fit. I'm also going to show you how to work without a document grid because sometimes, depending on the 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 width of the different panels on your brochure, you can't get a document grid to fit. But I'm going to replicate the uh, document dimensions or the panel widths of a brochure that I got home by Google. So I'm gonna show you a picture of that now. The widest uh, panel is 102 millimeters. So let's enter that in our document setup. Now when doing this, I really recommend that you work in quick mode because it's going to give you a little more flexibility in, in terms of setting uh, the letting to your desired value. So we've set the width to 102 millimeters and we're going to set the height to uh, 210 millimeters. And I'm going to enter a letting of 12 points. Now what I meant earlier with the flexibility of the letting value is that you can either use this value 11.906 points which, which fits perfectly from top to bottom or you could simply uncheck fit letting and make 12 points fit perfectly. So that's up to you, but you can't do it in modular and smart mode. And uh, that's why I recommend working with quick mode. Let me show you the picture here once again. Now we can see that we have a value of 102 millimeters, 100 millimeters and 94 millimeters. Now I can instantly know that if I have a document grid width of two millimeters, all those panels are going to fit perfectly. So um, let me go ahead here in uh, quick mode and enter a grid width of two millimeters. And I already know because of um, this value and the other values uh, that two millimeters are going to fit perfectly here. Okay, so the next step is to add another page to our master to make it a trifold. Enter here and then just click yes here, which gives us three pages here basically. After that, I'm going to set up my uh, margins. Is uh, probably gonna be fine here. After that, set the um, top and bottom margin. Now obviously you're going to have to sketch and put out your text frames and just see if everything feels all right. Let's see here. Yeah, something around that. If you wanna work with columns, you can go ahead and apply that, but I think I don't really need that with this small area. So the next thing is to define our body copy. can just go ahead and apply some and see if it feels all right. I'm not gonna focus on the different text parts like the headline, subhead. Uh, instead, I'm going to refer you to another video which I'm going to place a link to below this video. So um, once you've done that and it, everything feels good, keep in mind that we are going to change the, the width of these pages. And uh, before you do that, after you've placed all the elements and set up your headline, subhead, and so on, go ahead and save the document because if you need to go back and make some changes of some kind, you will have that document just as a backup because once we start changing the uh, uh, or using the page tool on our project here, you're not going to be able to edit it with the plugin because we don't support at least not yet, hopefully in the future sometime, the ability to work with the page tool and the plugin. So I'm gonna click done here. Now, the left page here, or the left panel was 102 millimeters. The one in the middle was 100 millimeters and the one to the right here is 94 millimeters. So we only need to change the middle and this page here on the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the page tool and change to 100 
Now, as you can see here, I'm going to remove two millimeters from this value, which means that our document grid, which is based on the value of two millimeters, is going to fit fine here. So check this out. Nothing misaligns here. And if I take the, uh, if I just draw a little box here and measure, we can see that it is 12 millimeters here. And the same should be on this left side. Yeah. So this is good to keep in mind when uh, you're, if you're going to work with a document grid. So I already knew from the beginning that we could work with the value of two millimeters and everything would fit perfectly even after I resize my pages here. And it should fit fine here with the 94 millimeters. Also, it does. Now, a quick way to check this is to simply bring out the calculator and uh, take 100 divided by two and you will see that you get an even number. And uh, the same with 94 divided by two. Yes, also an even number. Then I already know from the start, it's gonna fit perfectly. So basically that's it. Here I have created a layout where the document grid fit perfectly and my margins and everything. Now let me show you if you have another strange value where it is impossible to get your document grid to fit perfectly. So I'm just gonna close this, create a new document here. I'm not even gonna bother with text or anything in this, uh, in this setup. I'm going to enter uh, 102 by 210 millimeters, 12 points, uncheck fit letting, and insert a third page here. So uh, let's pretend that this is some other weird value. Let's say uh, 105. So we're not going to, we're not able to get two millimeters to fit here. I already know this. So instead it's some, uh, something else here, 1.98, one millimeters. So instead just go to margins and check value mode here. This way we are going to ignore the document grid, 12, and then you apply your text and uh, then you just go to page tool here and you make your changes, whatever you need to do. 103 maybe and 100. Keep in mind that save your document before you start using the page tool, just in case you need to go back. So basically that's how easy it is to set up a trifold and using the page tool. Thank you for watching.